simplify this for you. Stress is the cause of all your problems. It's that simple. Because if you think about it from a thyroid perspective, stress is a physiological reaction. It's not a thing, right? Our resiliency will determine whether our body or it reacts to a stress or not, right? Because a stress is when the demands placed on a body exceed what the body can handle. Optimize how we live, how we breathe, how we eat, then things become less of a stress physiologically because stress is a physiological response from the hypothalamus pituitary to the adrenals, thyroid, gut, gonad, etc. And we know that when our body goes into a stress state acutely, a lot of things happen hormonally. Things come up. The digestive system slows down. We produce excess cortisol to regulate inflammation in our blood pressure, etc. We need to do that. Bounce back. The problem is we live in an overworked, overstimulated, overtrained, over everything society. And our body is not designed to handle this continual bombardment of stimuli day in and day out. Acute is now chronic and our body can't handle this. So essentially, most of us, whether we feel it or not, are living in survival mode. We're living in the survival state and deriving energy from breaking down our body. Problem with this, as I mentioned in both my posts yesterday, so check them out. Of course, we produce excess stress hormones, which inhibit thyroid hormone production. We burn out the HPA axis, which affects the HPT axis. Stress hormones that we're producing inhibit thyroid hormone conversion in the liver and waste glucose and create catabolism in our system, which can easily lead to osteoporosis. Testosterone has an inverse relation to cortisol because the cortisol goes up, testosterone goes down, as well as excess cortisol creates an immunosuppressive response in the system, which over time, acute is hypothyroidism, chronic leads photos. So I hope you're getting my point here, that we have to change how we're living in order to change your response in the system. You can't take a supplement to heal the thyroid, right? The biggest thing which most people don't want to focus on initially because they're scared. They're scared to step in the arena. They're scared to be naked and they're afraid to get vulnerable, which is okay. But we have to tap into the nervous system to de-stress the system, the root of it all. If we begin to de-stress the system with food and blood sugar regulation, right, to down-regulate the stress response, cortisol and begin to heal the system, change our mindset, our posture, how we're living and working out, as well as our breathing to tap into our nervous system, to balance out the autonomic nervous system, we begin to de-stress the system. So what happens? Upregulate testosterone and other hormones. We begin to detoxify estrogen. We begin to upregulate the immune system. We increase our hormone conversion. We increase energy production, which pushes our body into a healing state. And I hate to say this, well, I don't hate to say this. It is honestly that simple, but it takes time because our body is in, in such a compensatory state for so long that we have to consistently modify how we're eating, how we're breathing. Then we begin to see the change and feel how we're feeling. So we begin to modify how we're living, which creates even more of a, pro a profound effect on our body and the state of our physiology. So we can try any method of dieting. We can try any supplement medication. We can search doctor after doctor, practitioner after pr practitioner, and think we're gonna do something. It's a law of cause and effect. It's that simple. Cause is how you're living and eating and breathing in your mindset, which is creating the effect, altered physiology. If you don't change any of the cause, nothing will happen to the effect. If you try to attack the effect with supplements and medication, boxes and crazy methods, what are we going to get? A small response, but we're really not changing it. So what happens is we constantly have to use these things and spend all this money and take these supplements to maybe change the effect. But in the long run, nothing's happening. We have to work on the cause, which is how we're eating, breathing, living, and thinking, etc. And that is the root of all your issues. So it comes down to this. Every day you have a choice. You have a choice to either be in a decompensatory state and heal the body or be in a compensatory state. And the choice is up to you. The choice is up to you how you want your nervous system and hormonal system. So when you wake up, are you doing breathing exercises? Are you eating food? Are you creating a food frequency? Or are you taking 45 supplements and not eating or just having bulletproof coffee? 
right? That is more of a stress to the system. What are you gonna do today to create change?